Hello everybody, how are you doing? This video is about the any and the all operators in MySQL. So first of all, let me just define you what is the any operator and all operator are all about. Okay, so the any operator returns true. Okay, if any of the query values meet the condition and in all operator, it will return true if all of the queries meet the condition. Okay, we have the five different situations with the any and the all operator. All right, uh, when we use the any operator or you know the all operator, we get uh, the list of the values in return. All right, so the first condition is that if the value on the right side must be on the smaller than any of the value, so it must be less than maximum. All right, and the second one is the left value must be larger than any value which we will get from any operator. It will be greater than minimum. And we have a third condition which is the equal sign and any so it just act like an uh, in operator that we have already covered after that we have the all operators with the two different situations the greater than the less than okay so in the less than it will be the value less than minimum and in the greater uh, situation the value would be greater than maximum uh, i know you won't be getting this right now but i will be clear this out in the code so let's just go to the code without wasting our time I want to see the customer ID, the first name and the last name from the customer table where the customer ID, okay, now I have to use the operators here. So the first thing here, I want to use the equal sign, okay. My customer ID must be equal to any, okay. And now, now I have to write the sub queue here, select CID, all right, from order three table, okay where now i have to put a condition to where the cid is greater than 104 all right so this is a kind of condition okay we have seen the five different situations with the any and the all operator okay so i have already written the code for it so you can see here I have written these all these situations separately just to save the time all right so I will be showing you the difference uh, between them so first of all let me just show you the return values of this sub -query. okay now you can see here we have the two uh, values only the 106 and the 107 okay in any operator if we have the equal sign that it will act as the in operator that we have already covered okay so let me just run this code now you can see here we are only having the two values okay so this is a kind of a situation with the any operator so in any operator when you are using the equal sign it will act as the in operator okay so here is the situation that the select the id from the order 3 that has the value greater than 105 so we are only getting the value that are 106 and the 107 okay this is a kind of answer of this query but if i just remove this thing okay so we have the another situation uh, greater than any uh, okay we know that uh, when we have this situation the values we will be getting from the greater than situation it will be values greater than the minimum value of the returned value of my sub -curie. okay so let me just show you uh, values of the sub -curie. okay now you can see here we are only having the two values from the sub -curie, which is 106 and the 107 and in this situation the greater than any you will get all the value that are greater than the least value okay so the least value is 106 so the values we will be getting from all of this query okay will be greater than uh, you know 106 so it will start from 107 so let me just run this code and now you can see here that we are only having the first name and the last name of the customer id 107 and 108 so this is how the greater than any situations work it will return you the greater value than the minimum value of uh, the sub -curie. okay so we have covered this situation now we have the third situation here which is the less than any okay so in the less than any you will get the values in return and that will be less than the largest value of the sub -curie. so okay, let me just you know change a bit here okay if i just run this sub -curie, okay now you can see here we have three different values the 105 106 and the 107 
and we know that uh, in less than any situation we will be getting only those values that are less than the maximum value so you won't be getting 107 okay so the values you will get in this situation will be you know smaller than 107 so let me just run this code okay now you can see here we are getting only those values that are lesser than the greatest value of the sub query okay so the greatest value of sub query were 107 now we have the fourth situation here with the all operator okay okay in the all operator let me just show you return values of sub queries first okay we are getting only three values 105 106 and 107 okay but we have seen the situation greater than all we will get the value that will be greater than the maximum value of that sub query okay now you can see here the greatest value of or the maximum value of this sub query is 107 okay in this situation we will get the values that has the greater value than 107 so let me just run this code and you will get the point here okay now you can see here we are only having the 1 0 add okay as i have already told you that when you have greater than all situation you will get the greater value than the maximum value of that sub query all right so now let's just check out the last situation here which is the lesser than all okay as we have seen that in lesser than all situation we are only getting those values that are lesser than the minimum value of that sub query so First, let me show. Uh, let me just show you the minimum value of the sub query. Okay, let me just change the value here. Is three. Okay, so okay now you can see the result value or the return values of uh, your sub query which is 104 105 106 and 107 all right but we have a situation of lesser than all so as we know in lesser than all we will get the values that are less than the minimum value so in this situation we are having the minimum value which is 104 so the values that we will be getting in this situation will be less than 104 all right so let me just run this code okay now you can see here that we are getting only those values that are less than 104 so this is how the all operator and the any operator works and if you really find this video helpful hit the like button and subscribe the channel and bye bye